That's better. Bit of barbecue paint and they'll be as good as new. Had them for about 15 years now, this furniture. It's gonna last a lifetime. Love it. Look at you wagging your tail. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, you're gorgeous as well. Will's under the bus at the minute. He still needs to put on a load of weight, but I'm feeding him well. Maybe it's all the walks that we do. Bit by bit, he's getting fitter and fitter. He's certainly happy. That's a good start. So at the moment, I'll just be doing a little bit of jet washing around that table. Everything I own one way or another gets broken and I thought I'd fix that jet wash, but now nah, it's all coming out of the handle. I tried it with the spray gun when I was trying to paint the outside of the house and the nozzle on the end of it blocked up. So that wasn't going to be used and then that roller ring. I think I've got the replacement part for it now, but I've been recommended not to use it in the house in the village just because it goes through paint really quickly and it's getting expensive paint. So that one might be part spray, part roller. Don't know at this point in time. My mission at the moment is to start thinking ahead for when I start this house. So I'm just having a little look around at all the things that I need to clear up. Tiles and so on, they're gonna be in use and all the stuff in this area is gonna be reused. But I've got old bits of fencing over there and some stuff along here, the decking boards down there, which will be somewhere down the line being part of the bus. Uh, I also need to empty out the contents of the house sooner or later, get it on some pallet wood and then cover it all so that I don't trip over anything when I do start this house. And I think just seeing it all nice and clean would be a good start. Fortunately, the Conservatoria and the insurance company are a stone's throw away, so I can kill two birds with one stone. Right, fingers crossed we don't lose all the water. Unfortunately, my insurance has just stopped. It will do as soon as I get home. So I doubt I'll be able to use the recovery van. I'm gonna to have to think of another option on here. So I think I'm gonna take the guy back now uh, to the mechanics and then see what we could do. Going back to its final resting place. Oh, oh yeah, back home. Bittersweet, of course, because it broke down hard to get the recovery van to come and collect it. But I guess it kind of uh, tells me exactly what I'm going to be doing with this car. But I'll worry about that another day. The van, on the other hand, really straightforward, straight to the conservatoria. The previous owner signs a document. I signed a document and I went there and um, yeah, pay 60, 65 euros. And then it goes through the system and I'll get a something in the post in the next couple of weeks, which would be this card now, not the paperwork, which you can keep on your wallet or stick in the uh, car. The interesting thing about the insurance out here, James can drive this car, I could drive his car, I could drive anyone's car, as long as you have a driving license and you're a resident here, uh, no problem at all. But of course there is gonna be some downsides to that, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know what that is, which is probably why we all have such crappy old cars. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at the van. And looky, looky. You cheeky little monster. You cheeky little monster. <laughs> this is really exciting. Looking at this van now, it's gonna be so much more practical than the car and economy wise with the fuel, it's gonna be a lot better, even though it's only a year newer than the other car. But in here, seeing this space and the condition of it, I've got some plans. I've just got some spare bits of the laminate flooring that I had from the bus. And I think I'm gonna get more of this and put it over the floor. That'll be really nice in here because potentially if I do do any little traveling around, I could put a bed in here, uh, I could sleep in it. Yeah, I could do whatever I want. And of course, I am gonna be doing the sides and the ceiling because I don't wanna do any damage on here. It will show up on the outside and it's just been re-sprayed. So only this year, I think it was so. I don't want to be doing any damage to it. Boarding it up is going to make it quite cosy in here. White is not my favourite colour, I have to say, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Onwards and upwards. Anyone knows where I can get two more of those plastic covers? It's a 2000 model, this van. Do let me know. I've tried all of the uh, scrap yards and so on, but no, no joy just yet. Meanwhile, 
back at the village. So on Saturday morning, I came back and continued sanding in the kitchen area. And I think for the next couple of days, it's pretty much what I'm going to be doing with James is just sanding down and running around, trying to find any areas that I missed out. So we can hopefully start the painting in the next couple of days. That is going to be very enjoyable. Well, doing it isn't going to be enjoyable, but seeing it all painted in one colour is going to be really nice. Actually, before I carry on, while I was sanding down in the kitchen area on Saturday, James went out and ordered the kitchen, which is really lovely at this point to know that obviously kitchen units and but we have all the bathroom suite stuff, but the kitchen units, we had to wait until we had the correct measurements before we could do anything. And they're on order and it looks like they're becoming either later this week or next week. We won't collect them straight away because we want to make sure we get all the flooring down first and we don't clutter up in here with stuff that we don't need right now. But getting those units in is obviously going to be a good, good step forward for us. Yeah, anyway, back to the sanding, checking and then painting. house done a while ago for various reasons obvious reasons I guess I've invested my money in here and I wouldn't mind getting it back um, and uh, well I'm starting my house very soon and as you know I've harped on about it quite a bit it's because I wanted to get the roof sorted out before it gets too hot and obviously now with the temperature going up it just makes it increasingly harder to put the hours in that you need to get it done as quick as possible and uh, I've had a couple of mates who wanted to come over and give me a hand, but I've had to pull them away from that because realistically, when you have temperatures that are in the mid 30s, uh, when you're on a roof and you're surrounded by walls and white, that all bounces off and the temperature goes up dramatically from that. And I've been in and around my house and there's nowhere to go where there's any um, cooler areas so much, even around the bus, it just really gets to inside the bus, it's 50 degrees in the daytime with the windows open, so I have a fan blowing through there and there's just nowhere to go to and of course inside the house is no good because we're going to be on the roof, so it's all down to me when I uh, start the house and get the roof sorted out, after that roof's done it's going to be plain sailing, that's for sure, and I'll have plenty of shaded areas, and if I can do this, anyone can do it. landing strip. I should really have ordered the other bunch of lights so I can have them on the other side of the driveway. I don't know why I haven't done that. Worked out really well. Eight lights, 60 euros. Really bright. I can change the colours. Yeah, I think that was a bargain. This is my ritual every evening watering the plants. Back and front buckets of water. Eventually that will all change but for now just haven't had time to deal with that. The oleanders wanted to show you these because light on because they're flowering really well 
I got them dotted all the way along the front, quite a few of them. There's a gap between each one. Eventually that will all close up when they grow up and they're gonna be a nice little addition to the front of this house. And of course they are on that side of the fence, dogs. So the fence is gonna be replaced with a stone wall, which will also look really nice with those oleanders. The ones I've got along the front are all white. I've got a couple of red ones dotted around somewhere else. My strawberry bush, yep, the strawberry bush, I plucked that from nearer the house. I've got two really nice ones growing up alongside the court tree and that green leaf just maintains that color all year round. And of course, you get the red berries off there, which are edible and you can make your moonshine, which I might have to try do one day. But the contrast with that green and the green on the cork trees, the oak trees up there is, uh, cause they're a lot darker, is uh, really nice. Anyway, we were supposed to get some rain. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen tonight. Maybe next week we'll get some, but the temperature has dropped down a little bit which is really good. And I think we'll take that opportunity in the next handful of days to uh, work back on the flat roof at the front of the house and the roof above the garage, get that sorted out. But not tonight, see you in the morning. days ah, sanding 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 front to back I think we're sorted now so I need to go back get a vacuum cleaner I think I might have a shower and uh, get rid of all the crap in there and mask it all off and tomorrow start with the base coat getting that primer on there and then I guess it's Thursday today so I want to try and get that sorted out tomorrow and then over the course of the weekend, I want to get those top coats on there. So that on Monday, maximum Tuesday, we get a good fresh start on something, uh, something else that isn't painting or sanding. Yeah, I need to get out in the sun a bit more. I think I've covered everything now. I'm starting to mask up around the windows and I'll go around any areas that I don't want to get any paint on. So that's my first stage before I uh, hopefully get that painter working, the spray gun, because we didn't have much luck the last time, did we? I wanted to show you this because I always point out that, you know, I don't do things in the right order quite a lot of the time. I do things that feels right for me, which is why I keep saying, don't copy what I'm doing. <laughs> And don't judge too much. But here is a good example where we've got two new plug sockets down in this room that's been plastered and one down there. This was the last bit of wiring that we needed to do. And James now has uh, got all the wires in there. But now, of course, we're gonna have to fill in those holes. It's not gonna stop me in what I'm doing because I'm gonna start in the front of the house and James is gonna patch those in. And then I might go back over it with the final coats. Um, it's not going to stop anything really, but this is just one of those good examples where two of us are doing stuff and James is dealing with the wiring and the plumbing and I've been doing, well you've been seeing what I've been doing in my videos and if we stopped to get that done at an earlier stage then it would have hindered us in another area. So we made a conscious decision to leave this until James is completely finished with the rest of the house and then unfortunately make a hole in the wall and put those last sockets in. It was a choice. It's a bit of a painful choice, but we knew this for quite a while. And as it happens, well, sometimes you've got to go backwards, haven't you, to go forwards. But isn't it slow down? Let's get on with this painting. I don't know if any of you have ever used this stuff before. It's like a masking tape with some very thin plastic that just sticks to everything. So it's static and it's wafer thin. But I have yet to manage to unravel this stuff without it sticking back on itself, which is what it's doing there. There's a paper version, which comes in different sizes, but I think I'm gonna to have to come up with another idea for this, although this glue is good for the windows because it doesn't stop the light going in. I'll add this to my list of things that I just don't get on with. This and expanding fun. 
Why am I struggling with this so much? I gave up on this stuff while I was doing the garage. I couldn't control it. I think what it is is it's all folded up to make it look smaller. And uh, when you're unraveling, it just sort of, yeah, I don't know, it's a problem with me. I'm so impatient. Right, we're all set up. Can't put it off any longer. Ready, James? <laughs> yeah, just gonna get on with it now. Hopefully, we'll have better luck with this machine. Let's see how we get on. Otherwise, it rolls out. Oh, 15 minutes in. And, yep. We're gonna continue playing this, play with this for a while, and hopefully uh, we're using the uh, Instruction manual here to help us out, so we're not giving up just yet. Well, 30 minutes later, we're still not having any joy. It's definitely sucking in there. We think now it could be this one. Yeah. Okay, one last try. Right, we have taken all these bits apart, cleaned them all thoroughly, and it's still not working. So we're gonna have one last ditch attempt James is just gonna take the whole unit apart and see whether it's something inside that's obvious. Other than that, it's only been used three times in his life. Bloody machine. Oh, we've been at this now all afternoon. It's Friday now, it's gone half past five. Um, I should have been able to get this completely sprayed by now, but we have taken the whole damn thing apart, checked every single thing, and it is coming out, but it's not coming out with any power, so I can only assume it's the machine itself. That lemon is going greener. Am I sure it's not a lime? It's been like that for ages. I know I shouldn't let it get to me, but little things like that really bug me with that spray gun. It's just really annoying. It's a good brand. It's supposed to be pretty damn good. And it was not cheap, 500 euros. I bought it as a little investment thinking that, as I am, renovating houses. It got me through the last house, did a good job on that. And here, didn't do too well. I ended up rollering it. And then now, to get to a point where you've only used it twice. And yeah, the warranty's run out. It's sod's law, isn't it? It just goes to show that sometimes those quicker, easier methods are all right when they work, but when they fall apart, you fall down. Yeah, really annoying. I'm going to start rollering and painting tomorrow, and hopefully I can see if I can catch up some time. But first of all, dog walk, sleep, and we'll start fresh in the morning. Ooh. That's looking much better. Won't take long to fill those in. Give it a good finish. Right. Yeah, I have to say, I know I'm using a roller and paintbrush, which is a pain. Especially after the excitement of potentially being able to do this really quickly with a spray gun. But now that I've gone around all of the edges, the ceiling is starting to blend in with the walls. So now I'm getting quite excited about it. Next step, of course, will be to blend all the rooms together. Let's see how this looks. A 
couple of top coats, I reckon, and this will be completely opaque and flat as. Beautiful, but it's not a particularly exciting room. So as we are into Saturday afternoon and I want to see a big difference in this kitchen area, I think I'm going to concentrate on this next, get this whole section primed because I've got to get this video uploaded and then I'll just carry on with it tomorrow. Here's something. Did you hear that? Well, 